Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you my finished bathroom renovation. So this is more of a powder room. It's a very small space and I really wanted to bring some of our personality into the space. And one way I did that is by putting um, some little trinkets we have on a shelf that was left over from another project of ours. And so we have like a little rhino from Tanzania. We have this little thing, I don't know what it is, from Japan. And then I ordered this guy from Etsy. Um, so I just added these things um, and it doesn't take up that much space in the bathroom, but I feel like it adds a lot of personality. The other thing that I did was I ordered this very intense wallpaper. This is from Spoonflower and you can get basically like any design you want. I was going for a more art deco vibe and I wanted the colors to reflect the studio that the that is on the other side of this area. Um, and the color profile in the studio is like a dark green and black. So one thing about renovating is not everybody is going to like the colors or the design choices you make, but I feel like it's important to make the space your own. And so I love this. It's a little art deco, a little jungle, um, so it's perfect. So I feel like when people come in here, they will know that it's my bathroom and like I renovated it. Another thing is adding plants to the space. And I feel like when I was looking around um, for inspiration, all of the bathroom renovations I saw that I really liked had plants in them. And we have a window that gets actually a lot of light. So I ordered this macrame plant holder also from Etsy. And I feel like it just makes the space look a little more lively. So I've changed the camera angle a little bit to focus on my toilet paper holder. I have a video that is linked above on the build of this. And I decided to build this because I wanted to um, bring the warmth into this bathroom because the walls are super white and the floor is really dark and I didn't really want a ton of metal fixtures in here and I think this toilet paper holder does that bring some warmth into the bathroom one other thing I focused on in this bathroom was the shade I spent a lot of time thinking about what I wanted we're at like a half basement level right now. So right outside the window, um, this is some bushes and stuff, but also there's a pathway. So if like somebody's coming up to our front door and you're on the toilet, they can see you, which hasn't happened yet. Um, but when we have guests over, I think they're a little more uncomfortable with it than we are. Um, so I built this top down, bottom up hobbled Roman shade. And so now I can lower the top, I can lift the bottom, do all types of configurations. And I think it, again, adds some warmth to the bathroom without it being overwhelming. I think the linen also takes away some of the yellowness that is natural with adding wooden items. I spent the longest time thinking about the sink area. Previously, there was just a pedestal sink here and a medicine cabinet, which offered zero storage solutions. And this is a very small space and we're basically as close as we can get to the toilet. But what we did is we took a butcher block countertop and cut it in half and made two shelves. And so there's enough space for your soap, and if you want to put like a toothbrush or something up here, you can. And also we mounted the zinc faucet on the wall. And this was to get space on the countertop for the largest sink we could fit, which is still a very small sink. So I could have mounted it somewhere else, but this is a much cleaner setup for such a small space. So the other thing I did is I made, I wove these hand towels and these match, these colors match the wallpaper on the other side of the bathroom. 
and I think it just adds a nice touch that everything matches when I have these bold colors. I really don't want to be introducing other colors into the mix because I think it would be too much in such a small space. So I do have a link to the video for making this hand towel if you're interested in the weaving process. Another difficulty in this bathroom was finding a mirror that would fit such a small space. So I actually found this mirror from Crate and Barrel and it's literally perfect for the space because it has the pink stone on top that matches the wallpaper basically perfectly. So I think one last thing I made for the bathroom that we couldn't see earlier was my little knob for holding my hand towel. Again, I wanted something small. I wanted something that was really functional. I made this along with the toilet paper holder in the same video. So that link will show you the knob and the toilet paper holder. I had previously mentioned our lower shelf down here. And so I wanted to show you that. Um, basically, if we have guests over, they can come put their stuff down here. And I think it honestly makes the space feel bigger than it did before with the pedestal sink. I think a mistake people make when they're designing for a small space is to basically say, oh, well, we don't have space for shelves in here. Let's not do that. Let's do the pedestal sink. But what you end up with is a space that's not usable because there's nowhere to put anything. Where this, we have this small shelf and this really is plenty of space for everything we need and what a guest would need when using this bathroom. I made this little basket um, and I dip dyed it, I sewed it, dip dyed it, and here's an extra towel I have and we can put a toilet paper roll in there or whatever else we want. And I'll link to that video as well. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my bathroom renovation. I will be releasing more videos like this as I continue to renovate our house. So if you'd like to see what else I end up doing, please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified when my next video is released.